Hey all, Hipper here. So uh, today I thought I would do a video on a ship I have never played before. And uh, Northern Dragon came to mind and I thought I'll do a special build as well. So I'm using a cruiser commander here because uh, I'm gonna go all out on uh, torpedo reloads. So I have fully packed and I have the perk that gives me an extra reload booster. And uh, that means that on this ship, and uh, you'll just see how I set up the actual ship here. So I have three smokes, three engine boosts, and no less than five torpedo reload boosters. And uh, you can actually use them all if you are, you know, if you use them properly, but uh, this build is not maxed. So you can cut another uh, probably 20 seconds of the reload there. So uh, it's useful, right? 5.7 concealment, so not terrible, not great. And a 100% win rate. Wow, because we only played one battle in the ship here. So uh, I'll come out and say it, I am not the best destroyer player in this game. I tend to be too impatient and uh, it's just not uh, my favorite class. Actually, the class I play the least, I play cruisers and then battleships. Uh, oh, actually, I play uh, carriers even less, I guess. I think I have a handful of battling carriers. <laughs> really don't like those ships. Um, so uh, Northern Dragon, first game in it. I've had the ship for a while and initially I thought it was a cruiser. Uh, but actually it turns out that it, it's a destroyer, so uh, that's okay. So uh, like I said, I wanted to try a build here that gave me as many uh, torpedo reloads as I could possibly get, because the torpedoes are pretty good. 20,000 plus damage, and uh, you know, you get 13 kilometer range with this build here as well, so uh, it's not too bad. But uh, unfortunately I run into the Elbing over here, uh, and uh, I'm all by myself over on this flank here, so uh, hopefully someone will come to my aid because I, I don't think I can outgun an Elbing here. And I can't torp him because I have deep water torps on my Northern Dragon here. So uh, I'm in a pretty bad spot here. But uh, as you can see, the cruiser uh, over at B, he realizes that, hey, uh, the destroyer is in trouble over here at A. So uh, you can see him turning and, uh, you know, going that way. So I guess uh, he started out this game by thinking, okay, I spawn at B, I'll protect my destroyer at B until we cap. And uh, once that's done, I will uh, go help the other destroyer, which is exactly the mentality you should have when you're playing a cruiser. Hallelujah! Now, I believe we have an AFK battleship as well, or maybe he's just not doing much, but uh, the cruiser could have decided, hey, uh, I'm gonna go over to the uh, sea cap and, uh, you know, uh, farm some battleships for some useless damage. But he doesn't do that. He actually goes to this cap here because, well, that's what you should do if you want to win, right? You can always burn down the battleship. They're no threat at the moment. So, uh, you know, lock down this side of the map, this flank, so we don't have to worry about A at all anymore. Uh, you see the battleship is running away. So uh, once A is safe, then B will be safer. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just give up on C. It doesn't matter. Uh, they can have it. We have uh, two caps. So uh, if we can hold these, we're going to win on points. So uh, I read in the description for the ship that it has improved AP shells. Uh, so they, you know, have improved uh, bounce angles. So uh, I thought, hey, I'll test that out. So I'll just shoot a few uh, AT shells here and then we're switching to AP. So uh, that's why I, I haven't played the ship before. I wanted to test it out and what better opportunity than a broadside L being here. And uh, I don't think, I'm not gonna say I'm like super impressed with the performance here, but uh, anyway, we, we have to try it. So obviously torps on the way, so we're just trying to uh, you know prepare for them a little bit, and uh, there they are. Just gotta make sure we avoid the torps and uh, you know don't take too much damage from this Elbing here because I uh, I was hoping I had him here with this salvo. I was like ah shoot bang, and uh, he of course has like a percent left, and then the cruiser uh, removes him. But that's great. Thank you, Mr. Cruiser. That's what you're supposed to do. And uh, now we can go and defend B and. At this point here, this battle here is pretty much won. Uh, the enemies have lost both their destroyers. I'm the last destroyer left. And uh, I'm just gonna shoot some torps here. I kind of forgot about that the whole beginning of, well, I didn't forget about it, but you know, the whole beginning of this game here, I was facing a destroyer, so my torps were useless. And uh, not the best, you know, battle here to try out this ship here that's all about uh, torpedoes. Well, not all about torpedoes, I guess I have improved fire chance on my guns as well but uh, I wanted to try out um, you know firing as many torps as I possibly could and it's not the best battle for it but still fun I mean still in like 
an a build that I don't think many people run, and I'm not saying they should, but I uh, just wanted to try it out. So uh, as you can tell, our battleship over there on C flank, he's still AFK. And uh, that, that is happening a lot lately, and I, I'm not the only one noticing this. There's a lot more AFK players in the game, especially at higher tiers than, ha than there has ever been before. Um, and this guy is like, I don't know what's going on here, because he actually joins the battle uh, in about a minute or so. Um, of course, like, way too late to have any sort of impact on this, uh, this stuff here. So, uh, yeah, it's just annoying. So, like, if you're going to play World of Warships Legends, can you, you know, plan ahead for 15 minutes? That's it. That's all it requires. And uh, hopefully you can. So uh, all we got to do now is hold the B cap. You see the Kansas is far too far away to be of any like use in this game here. It's a very slow battleship and uh, he won't be able to do anything in the last eight minutes really because he has to sail all the way in and it's going to take forever. So these two guys here moving in and because we had an AFK battleship over there, both the battleships have survived over here at sea. Now uh, in you know a normal game, that should have been only one battleship, if any battleships. But uh, in this game here, of course, both of them have survived at full health. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, what we got to do here is just defend the cap, really. Uh, of course, if we can torp them, it's nice. But uh, I am an awful uh, person at torping in uh, destroyers. Much better at it in cruisers. But uh, destroyers, nah. Uh, I like my guns. So I'm just going to smoke up and then I'm going to reset these guys here because I don't want them to take the cap. And uh, I also left the cap so they don't know where I am. Of course, they know where I am now because I smoked up. But uh, I didn't want to stay in the cap and pretty much give my position away. So uh, just, just sitting outside the cap, I was hoping to get some torp hits, get rid of one battleship. And uh, then perhaps someone else would help me with the other battleship. Because you can see our AFK Massachusetts is now finally moving. Uh, he's been waiting half the battle to actually do something and uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just poor form really All right. if you're playing a tier 7 battle uh, Can you please you know be ready and uh, you know actually do stuff? So uh, these two here they are about to cap and of course we can't have that there's still seven minutes left So they could win on points. So uh, if I have to die defending this cap here, I will uh, because if they grab the cap, they could actually, quite quickly, really, uh, sprint ahead of us in points. So uh, I'm going to take a beating here, doing this, because it, it looks like no one else is in a position to actually shoot at the battleships. And uh, you can see how I switch from the Shambar to the uh, Bismarck, so I can, uh, you know, reset both of them. Because they're both capping, and uh, so many people forget about this. They just focus on one ship. And then the other ship ends up capping and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you have to you have to reset both ships. So uh, you have to switch targets. So none of them are able to cap. So they're sitting out there in the open, getting pounded. And uh, they're not getting anywhere with uh, the actual capping performance here. So uh, like I said, I don't play destroyers a lot. And the only destroyer I really play and I really like, uh, well, I guess there's a few. But, you know, the main one is the Daring. Um, and the... Uh, I like that one, I do well in that one, and uh, it's really entertaining to play. Most other destroyers I find a little bit lacking, and uh, this one included. I think it's really, really sluggish. Uh, I'm thinking I should probably have put rudder on this thing instead of uh, acceleration. But then again, the acceleration is also pretty bad. So uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just not a fun ship, I think. Um, even with these torpedo reload boosts here. You can put that on some of the uh, Japanese destroyers as well. I think that's a much better pick. But uh, anyway, so we got a high caliber there. Very low one because we're only at uh, like 5 versus 5 here. And uh, all three battleships shooting at us. So uh, we're just going to get rid of the Bismarck. He's the only one that's a threat still. And he's sitting in the cap. And as soon as he's sunk, we pretty much won this game here. Because um, we are 100 points in front. And uh, once that guy goes... It should be relatively easy to just hold the last two battleships off because the Shambar is really low on health and the Kansas is just yeah, a sitting duck. So uh, I don't even remember where the ship is from. It was some sort of, you know, special event. Um, and it's Pan-Asian, which I don't really play. I haven't really played the cruisers at all, actually. 
Uh, they remind me too much of uh, Atlanta, so I just don't have much fun playing them. Um, but like I said, I'm not a big destroyer player either. I should have saved my torps here, but well. The torps are actually really slow on this ship here as well. Something I just wanted to point out. They're 67 knots, uh, which, you know, compared to some of the Japanese ones that goes 80 plus. Well, it's really, really slow, but they are deep water torps. So uh, you only get, with this build here, you get 800 meters before you, they actually show up, unless you're running sonar, of course, or someone spots them. So uh, it's hard to dodge uh, if you don't, you know, anticipate the torps coming. Uh, but if you know they're coming, just like the battleship in the B cap before, it's relatively easy to uh, to just you know turn once you suppose the destroyer has fired and then uh, dodge the torpedoes. Unfortunately, so will I ever play the ship again? Probably not. Um, I don't think that this torpedo reload build here is well anything special, really. Like I said. Uh, if you want to do this, I recommend doing it on the um, Japanese destroyers instead, because those torpedoes are just nasty, <laughs> like the Shima or the Yukikaze or something like that, or Yudachi even. Um, plenty of options. Uh, some of them don't have torp reload boost, and you can't get five of them. At least I don't think so, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, yeah, getting to the end of the battle here, and I was hoping, oh, can I get that kill on the Kansas there? But again, these very very slow torps like he's down to i don't know like seven or eight hit points seven or eight thousand hit points here and uh, thinking oh, okay let's just farm him a little bit and i get all shatters on <laughs> everything i wasn't really uh, expecting you know any damage i was exactly expecting a fire or two maybe um but we're happy enough with eighty-four thousand here in a uh, five versus five that's fine the torps are on their way but uh I'm kind of guessing here when I was playing the game that someone is going to kill this kill here before me because <laughs> it is just a matter of time and uh, my torps are too slow, unfortunately. But uh, that's the end of the battle and that was Northern whatever destroyer here with uh, you know a full torpedo reload build with a cruiser commander. Ooh, so uh, fun? Yes, sort of. Will I ever play it again? No, probably not. So uh, should you buy it? Meh, I don't think so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.